Hey people, it's lobby time and today I'm eating White Castle. The world's largest White Castle is now open in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's been open for a couple days. I was hoping that some of the hype would already have died down and I'd uh, be left with not as big of a wait as it was on opening day with six to eight hour waits. I think some people waited even more. I know I don't have to wait that long to get my delicious greasy sliders, but I am so excited. I haven't had White Castle since I lived in Ohio and that's been 10 years ago, over 10 years ago. And yeah, of course I've had the refrigerated, the freezer section kind, but it's just not the same. It's not the same at all. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna get my White Castle sliders and I'm gonna eat them and just be so happy. So let's go. After an hour waiting outside, I'm now inside. Still a little bit more of a line and a lot of people waiting for food, but it's a pretty big inside compared to any White Castle I've been in before. And that would make sense since it's the largest. Here's a look at some of the merchandise you can find at this location. I will own some of it someday, not today. Here's a look at the full menu, including the Crave palette. For this store, $6,199, 6,920 sliders. After 90 minutes of waiting, I finally have my White Castle and I am super, super excited. Uh, the bags are not nearly as greasy as I remember them being, but I guess that's okay. That means it's healthier for me, right? Sure, that's where we're gonna go with. But uh, I didn't go too crazy, as you can see, just two bags. A lot of people are going for like the clutch cases with 20 and the Crave cases with 30. I get it. I really, really get it. I, uh, I, probably, I probably would have wanted to go down that route if I wasn't here by myself. Uh, but I'm just here alone. I don't need to overdo it, but yeah, it's the line's gonna go real slow when everyone is buying that many burgers in bulk. But uh, you know what? Everyone is working so hard to make sure people get their food as quickly as possible. So it's actually, it's kind of awesome how they're all working. And I overheard inside that they actually pulled White Castle employees from some of the busiest locations in the United States to come down and work here just for this. So that way they could be as prepared for the crowds as possible. So really, really awesome. It's just, uh, I, I, I am so, so excited. And I bet you're wondering what I ordered. And well, I'm going to tell you what I got. I, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I didn't go too crazy, obviously, but I did get four original sliders, no cheese. I do not like cheese on my White Castle sliders, on the original ones, at least. We'll see, maybe I'll change my mind with that here in a second. Then I also got two of their 1921 sliders, which is like their, their throwback slider to what their burgers were like when it first opened, and those do have some cheese on it and lettuce and tomato and onions, of course. So I got two of those. I have a small crinkle cut fry because you can't go wrong with White Castle's crinkle cut french fries. They're the best. And then, of course, I have to get a drink as well, too. So I'm having Sprite today, Sprite Zero, to be uh, precise if I need to be. But I don't think that matters as much. And you might be wondering, why am I sitting in my car? to eat these, uh, it, it was just insane there. I mean, the outside patio seating, I probably could have sat there and it would have been nice and quiet, but uh, inside it was way, way too crazy. And then outside, it's just loud. It's very loud. There's a lot of people here. I'm still not necessarily comfortable uh, doing vlogs out and about because, uh, well, we haven't really done them yet. I do them at Walt Disney World, but this isn't Walt Disney World. This is... This is uh, just a normal place. So it's not, it, it would have it would have made me feel weird. So that's why I'm back in my car. And I'm about to uh, crack open these bags now because I want my White Castle. 
I am so happy and excited right now. I miss Fresh White Castle so, so much. Like I said, it's been 10 years. I know I know it's been 10 years because the last time I went to White Castle, I bought a Coca-Cola style glass with the logo on it. And it said celebrating 90 years. And well, it's the 100th anniversary this year. 1921 was when the first White Castle opened and it's all over everything, the merchandise, the bags. So yeah, it's been 10 years for me. And oh, here goes nothing. Gotta have that first bite eventually. Soggy, greasy, just plain delicious. I honestly, I don't know what to say about White Castle. I know it's not for everyone. I really do, but it's for me. It's gonna make me so sick. I already know it. It's gonna make me so, so sick. Oh, but I love it so much. I'm already regretting now not getting more than four. I mean, technically I have four plus two, but with the original sliders alone, I probably, I, I probably should have got 10. I, I really, I didn't think that I was going to be hit with this wave of, of, of emotions. I can't even talk right now. I might kind of cry. I don't think I was going to be hit by these wave of emotions like I am. Oh, just, just perfect. I am going to switch gears here though for a second. And I'm moving on to the 1921. So we have the White Castle steamed bun. Like I said, lettuce, tomatoes, there's pickles, the caramelized onions, cheese. The The patty on this one is a lot more hefty. I will say that it's a, it's a thicker patty. And uh, I guess that's why if you order this one as a combo, it only comes with two versus four. And I can definitely see why it's got a lot more heft to it, but. Let's see how it tastes. Not gonna lie, I'm not really a fan of this. Uh, the cheese is dominating the flavor. It's just way too cheese heavy. And that's why I don't like cheese on my White Castle. I just wanna taste that onion and beef or whatever it is. That's what I want. This is like so cheese heavy. And you know, ultimately it is just a slider. It doesn't have that, that greasy distinguished White Castle taste to it. So I'm going to eat both of them. I mean, obviously, I ate half of this one already. I'm going to eat the other one. I'm not as happy with it as I was hoping to be, though. So, you know what? I just won't ever get them again. I'll stick with my originals. Don't stick with what's not broken. Did I say that right? I don't know. And last but not least, my crinkle-cut french fries. Mmm... These ones are clearly slightly undercooked. As you can see, they're a little, they're a little wiggly, a little jiggly, but you know what? I'm okay with it. I'd rather have them undercooked than overcooked. Yeah, they are undercooked, but they are still salty. They're tasty. They match perfectly with the sliders. I'm going to allow it this time. And you know what? Maybe even every time. I'll allow it every time. I'm okay with it. Never underestimate the power of the crinkle cut french fry. Probably my actual favorite french fry. I don't need curly fries. I don't need waffle fries. Give me a good crinkle cut french fry. I'm a happy man. I'm on my last White Castle slider. I'm sad. But that also means it's time to talk about my feelings about this whole experience. Uh, was it worth wasting 90 minutes of my valuable time just for White Castle? Absolutely. I would do it again in a heartbeat, and I will do it again. I don't know how soon, but I will if I have to. That's how much I love it. I just love it so much. It is such a guilty pleasure. And it could have been far worse. I, I was hearing that the drive through line was about three and a half to four hours, so I'll take 90 minutes any day of the week. It is just so good when it's fresh. The The kind of tasteless but still flavorful greasy patty with the with the onions and the the crisp taste of the dill pickle and the steamed buns those soft steamed buns just so so good you can't even compare it to the kind you get in the freezer section but I did just read as I was waiting in line that apparently you're supposed to take them out of the freezer put them into the refrigerator and then cook them and I guess 
That way, the, the problem with the freezer ones is if you put them in the microwave or the oven, usually the bun gets way too hard before the burger's actually cooked. And so you have to kind of deconstruct it halfway through. It's really, really, really uh, just not easy to make the perfect freezer White Castle burger. I have perfected it at home, but it's still not simple. It's just easier to get them fresh. And I know what you're also thinking, why waste 90 minutes or longer on White Castle when I could just go to a Crystal anywhere down here? It's just not as good. Crystal is fine, but there's something about White Castle. It's just, it's better in my book. That's that's how I feel. So uh, I know if you're watching from the Midwest and regions of the Northeast, you're like, okay, big deal. Orlando has a White Castle. Hurrah, we've had them forever. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe I will have convinced you to go back and give White Castle another chance if you hadn't had it in a long time. And uh, if if you haven't ever had White Castle, but you're going to come to Orlando soon, maybe, maybe I just convinced you to take some of your valuable time out of your vacation to, to come and have some White Castle. I don't know. You'll decide on your own. But if you want to get here, the world's largest White Castle location is off of Palm Parkway, and Turkey Lake Road. It is impossible to miss, and I'm excited because in the same parking lot is where we're gonna have the Portillo's, which I believe that's how you say it, and that's the Chicago hot dog place, and I am super, super excited for that. And hopefully that will open sooner than later. But uh, I am about to get heat exhaustion from sitting in my car recording this, so I'm going to go. I'm gonna eat this last burger, and I'm going to turn on my AC, but thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up for me. Make sure you're subscribed and leave comments, questions, and, uh, you know, just anything down below in the comments section. I'll appreciate that. So uh, I hope you enjoy this once again. Uh, it, I know it's been a long time since we've had lobby time, but I hope this was worth the wait, maybe even just a little bit, but probably not. Anyways, uh, this is going to be one of the most ironic uses of this statement, but take care, everyone. Stay healthy.